Hey, hello, and welcome back to Pioneer. Today, oh, after doing a bit of thinking and a bunch of playing around, uh, I've decided it's time to leave this selection of stars. We've done a lot of trading here, and so uh, thus, uh, the supply is down, demand is down, profit is down. Profit is still here, and it's still close by, and it's still profitable. It's just not, well, exceptionally profitable. All the good, all the good commodities have have gone down. Uh, the the closeness of the systems means that they don't really have time to, well, recuperate. The supply goes down, demand goes down and we just continue doing it so there's no real well, rest period for the systems. So uh, it's time to give these systems a rest, but it's not just gonna be a rest because we're gonna make some profit doing that. <laughs> so we're here in uh, Zeravlevatan. I have no idea how to say that. I should probably look that up sometime. But we're here in this city because this city is a minor exporter of precious metals. And while looking around for a system to go to and, uh, well, make some more money, I happened to cross Urin here, which is still relatively close. And Urin has couple star ports, three or four, yeah, four of them, five of them actually, and one of these is a major importer of precious metals. So what that means is that I can buy all the precious metals that Zura Levaton has and sell them there to make some profit. Now there are a few star ports that import precious metals here in uh, this little cluster that I'm at. But because it's one of the more profitable commodities in the game, it doesn't really rebound as quickly as some of the regular commodities do. So just because this star system has them doesn't mean I can take them and sell them somewhere close. Otherwise I would have. So we're going to go a little bit far away and sell them there. So I've actually already bought all the precious metals that you can get at the starport and enough hydrogen to take us to Urin A. And I forget which one it is. We'll have to double check once we get into Urin, but one of these has a major Im exporter, or uh, importer, sorry, major importer of precious metals. And another good thing about this system is that there are two minor exporters of precious metals in system. So, depending on how much supply and how much, or more importantly, how much demand is uh, at this system we're going to, or the station, I should say, uh, how much demand is there, we can grab some more precious metals from those exporters and take them back, do some in-system trading. But we have to get there first. So, I have gone ahead and bought all the fuel that I need. What, six, six tons of fuel? Yeah. I suppose I could scoop, um, but at this point in the game, right, is I have 17 tons of precious metals. I really don't need to worry about scooping stuff. In fact, you know, one of the, the things that I noticed while trading in these close systems is that the fuel scoop I've got installed on this uh, Mola Mola is probably more of a disadvantage than it is an advantage. 
For long distances? Sure. Yeah, it works great. But single jump systems just it's a waste of space. Um, that's more cargo space we could have. That's more commodities we could buy. More commodities we could sell. And, well, yeah. Less profit. But, you know, do I want to keep it? Do I want to sell it? I don't really know. Not really worth much. Let's see. So this tells it's a minor export, but let's see this minor import. Ting, here we are, the major import. Let's go to Ting on Gilbert's claim. Wow, that's close. Ting, Ting port. Let's go. Man, I like this. I like how close this is. We'll be there in no time. Flat. I know most of these videos get into like <laughs> 20 or 30 minute things, but this, this, this is close. We could probably get there in uh, less than. Less than 15 minutes. Though, I'm also gonna have to stop, and I don't know what particular side of the planet this port is on. So let's double check. Pop into Gilbert's claim. It's, um, it's it's okay. It's an okay approach. Not the greatest approach, but it's a workable approach. So, I think we want to move this prograde marker up just a little bit. We are approaching the side of the planet that the port is actually on. That's okay. Zoom out so we don't have any speed accidents. And check the gravity real quick. Good. I 
safe approach. Safe approach, lots of money. Probably could speed up too. approach. I wish all the approaches were as smooth as this was. There's nobody here. Okay. Let's get permission. Excellent, excellent. This was a good approach. Let's level out. Oh, we overshot the pad just a little bit, but that's okay. Touchdown! Alright, so let's gas up. Didn't really use a whole lot of gas there. Let's see how much we can make. Oh, come on. Demand of 19. Alright, so that, that kind of puts a... That squashes our idea to buy and sell more precious metals from in-system because we're going to sell them all right here. See? Boom. Yeah. Now there's only demand of two. Price has dropped down to below 2,000 credits. Yeah, that's not great. That's not great. Level 12 technology. <sighs> and, of course, no information about some special economic situations. That's a shame. <sighs> so, Ting, Kozwalski, let's take a look. Can we do any in-system trading here? Not a whole lot of good ones. We could do carbon ore, but that's not particularly profitable. Caballero, fruits and vegetables, green. Rubbish is not really one that I like to look at because when I've tried to trade rubbish, more often than not, the demand for rubbish is, well, zero. Lindholm, nothing particularly interesting going on. Lindholm. Here at Richards. Uh, there's actually a fair amount we could do at Richards, not that there's particularly expensive ones, profitable ones. Mining machinery, maybe. Fruits and grains, vegetables. Uh, carbon ore. Carbon ore is cheap. Fruits and grain, uh, fruits and vegetables might be decent. Grain is a little less profitable. What was I looking at? Was it? Call 
Kozlowski. No, Caballero. Yeah, Caballero. Caballero's got a military certificate. So let's, you know what? Let's take some some fruits and vegetables over to Caballero. Since we're here. So 4,600 some odd credits. Caballero Outpost. Eh, it's on the other side of the system, but that's okay. It's on the other side of the planet, isn't it? Other side of the planet. That's not the right way to say it, but... Yeah. Not quite the other side of the system, but... Close enough. You know, I forgot to check if there were any missions going to Caballero. That's okay, though. Let's see, can we see it? We still gotta get a ways away from the planet, don't we? So we'll wait till we're 10 kilometers or so up. fairly out. That's okay. The ones that are far or closer to orbit, closer in orbit to the planet are a little bit harder to get to. up a bit more. So, so we bought the fruits and vegetables for 4,600 credits. Maybe we'll make some decent profit. Major import, major export. So that's good. Let's flip around for breaking. some good ships here too. Oh, oh, okay, okay. Time to slow down a bit. Right, so we, we've got a fair amount of money. And like I said, I think it's time to start thinking about 
something new to do. Alright, commodity trading's been fairly profitable. But I also think we could do better with um, a multi purpose kind of spaceship. And we could use that, we could fight with that, we could trade with that, we can do missions with that. But I don't entirely know how much it costs to outfit something like that. And I am leaning heavily towards getting the skipjack as the next ship. I, I think I said something about uh, the wave, right, so we could practice combat. But if we're gonna spend money on something new, it may as well. Ooh. Slow it down a bit more. May as well. Get something that works well as a general upgrade, an overall upgrade. And I think the skipjack is the way to go with that. Okay, we're almost here. Problem is, I don't know how much a skipjack costs to outfit. And we did kind of mess up our approach here. That's okay, though. We'll fly right past, but just a little bit. Go ahead and turn on cruise mode. zoomed in. I always I always screw up the approach when I'm zoomed in. I don't remember to don't remember to zoom out. Alright, let's get permission. Docking bay number nine. Not that that number means a whole lot to me. where you can kind of memorize where and what number docking pads are which. But it's close enough. Okay. Let's gas up. And sell our fruit and vegetables. Oh, we made a thousand credits on that. That's pretty good. A thousand credits for a simple in-system trade. Very nice. I might do this some more later. That was a good trade. Let's see what kind of ships they got. The Malabar. That's definitely out of our <laughs> out of our price range. All right, not particularly interested in a in a big passenger ship, anyways. What about missions? Yeah, these aren't great either.
Yeah. Oh, well. Okay, so we made a good bit of money today. All right, we have 154,000 credits. That's nice. Probably use a bit more before going in for a skipjack, because I don't think that'll leave a whole lot. Uh, but I will examine the price tags and do some simple math. See how much we need for a good setup. But for now, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all later. Goodbye.